Hi, this is Gary again with Gary Sprinkler Repair Service. And today we're going to show you how to set and program a rain dial um, timer. And this one happens to be an exterior timer. So I will get started. Okay, what we can see here is this is a rain dial. As I said before, it's exterior since it's outside. So it's important to make sure you keep that case shut. Now on this rain dial, we can see here we have an A, B, and C switch up here on the top left. And then we have our current date and time and everything on the clock. And then we have plus and minus buttons over here. Sorry about that, I almost forgot to change the phone. And down here in the bottom left corner, we have a semi-auto. So if you ever wanna run them, just kick them on and run all three of them, you can do it right here. Just by hitting that one button and on they'll come. They do need to be, the middle switch needs to be in run which is all the way to the right. The middle position is to make adjustments and to the far left is off. So you can see off, middle, or run over to the right. Now, in order to do the semi-auto, which is run through the entire system, the entire um, sprinkler system, one, two, and three on this timer, you, you would need to be in the run position in order to do that. You also need to be over here, it says run or manual, to use the manual mode, and I'll show you real quick how to do that. Okay, on the timer here on the dial, we can see to the right, we have stations one through six. This is six station rain dial. To the left of that, you see uh, straight up is current time. To the left is today. So when you turn the dial there, it should show on the clock what day of the week it is. If not, if it's not correct, plus or minus will change that. You can see Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, all the way down to Saturday on the left. And at the very bottom of that is skip days. If you want to choose your days up above, like Monday, Wednesday, Friday, you cannot have skip days turned on down below. It needs to say off when you turn the dial to that. And then below that are start times. And again, you can see on start times down there, it will indicate one, two, and three. And you can repeat that for A, B, and C program. Now, why would you use A, B, and C program? Well, let's say you're in a place and they have water restrictions. And they say you can water Tuesdays and Thursdays on the lawns, but the plants can water every day. So here on this timer, station one is the front lawn. And so I would go into A program where the switch is here at the top. And I would turn the dial to number one. And I would go ahead and move the switch in the middle to the middle position to set and change things. And you can see it's currently set for eight minutes. And then you go through and you tell it what days of the week. So if you wanted whatever days, you can go to here. Uh, today we've got it set Tuesday on, Wednesday off, Thursday off, Friday off, and Saturday on. Now to change those to on or off, you just use the up or down arrows here and it'll change them to on or off, depending on how you want. The last position, skip days, again, down here with the dial, pointing at skip days should show us off on the timer or I can't choose my days. Okay, and the last part that we do is we turn down here to our start time and you can see number one start time shows 7 a.m. And again, if I want to change that, plus or minus will change it. If you want to add a second time, you go to number two and I can currently don't have a second watering time, but if I wanted to, I could do that by going plus or minus it would probably be an evening watering time most likely, so I would go down. From, that takes me down from midnight, and I can put my evening watering time. When I choose to get rid of that, scrolling to midnight on this timer is the off position. So to get rid of that second watering time, just scroll all the way up to midnight until it says off, and then you're done. So if we come on at 7 a.m., and we only have a front lawn for eight minutes, that means we can drop down to B program right here. So I'll show you the B program and now I move the switch to B. And we can come over here and we can see there is no lawn in B. It's zeroed out, it says off. And station two is the front drip. And again, the plants here can water every day. So we would have that on for 15 minutes for the drip for the spring and 15 minutes for the back drip. And that's all there is to it. And again, you do need to tell it which days of the week with on or off over here. If it can be on every day, you just turn it on every single day, except for skip days. Then you come down to your start time. And down here, your start time should indicate a time later than the A program's finish time. 
So if the A program for the lawn kicks on at 7 and it runs for 8 minutes, by 7.08 it's off. We give it a few minutes to go to take a little breather and then you can set it if you wanted to for uh, 7.09 for the B program. I gave her a little bit of a cushion here on this house um, just so that if she wanted to ever increase her run time on the lawns in the A program, she'd have a little cushion before the B program was trying to kick on. So and again, you can see B program right now. Plants usually only need to be watered once a day, even in the middle of summer. You just might need to increase how long they run for. So again, you can see here, you've got one, two, and three. We've got it set for 7.15 a.m. And each one will run for 15 minutes each. So by 7.45, it will be off for the day. Okay. The last thing I need to show you, I'm gonna put the timer back to run now to current time. If you wanted to change the current time, again, plus or minus will change that. So if you needed to do spring forward or fall back, you just simply go to the current time, move the switch to the middle down here, and you can use plus or minus to you know, spring forward or fall back. Once you're done, you move the timer, switch over to run, and it's ready to go. And I always move the A, B switch back up to the default of A. Now, one other thing I will take a moment to show you on this timer, it's kind of hard to do with one hand, is I'm gonna open this up and if it's an exterior timer like this, just a heads up, sometimes there can be black widows or bees in here depending on what time of the year it is. So always open it up really slow. So you can see here we have no cobwebs in there so we're good to go. And I wanna show you here behind this little door right here is a place to put a battery, a nine volt battery. So you should change that once a year because they're only good to save your programming on your timer uh, for up to four hours continuously or over time it'll wear down okay so once a year and that's about it with this timer uh, this is an older style one so it does not have a glass fuse on this timer uh, the newer style ones have a glass fuse in here so if you ever come out and your display is blank but you got power then you can just open it up get pop the fuse out go get yourself a new fuse and pop it back in and that's about all there is to this timer so again when you're done close it up Make sure it's in run, make sure that's back to A, and come down here, make sure you're over in run, and you're ready to go. And again, just to show you how the semi-auto works on this timer, you just hit this button if you're in run and you're in manual and run over here. Hit that button in the bottom left corner, and it'll kick on the sprinkler starting with zone one, and it will run zone one, shut off, go to zone two, three, shut off, and be ready to go for its normal time. You can do that any time of day, and it doesn't mess up your programming on your timer. If you wanted to go to a specific zone and water a specific one, like let's say the front lawn you wanted to water, you can come over here and turn it to zone one, tell it how long to water, and then come down. So I put in here five minutes with the plus sign, and I come down and hit the manual button down here, and on it will go. And it will only run that one zone not all of them that would be this button if you wanted to run them all but if you just wanted to check a specific zone you can go here and check number one if it wasn't the one i wanted to check i can turn the dial over here to zone two give it some time and hit manual and check the front drip so and that's how you do it when you're all done go back over here i'm going to turn this timer today to off so it goes to current time for the dial and the switch goes to off because the soil here is still too wet to need watering but again that's all there is to it again um, if you liked our video I'd like to ask you to if you can do a like share and of course subscribe